All right, this uh, particular section is going to cover adding elements. So you'll first need to go or log in and go to the eWalk website. Once you're there, click on Setup and go to Templates. Uh, there are various tabs across the top, you, and uh, Wizard will give you a quick run through how to create everything one step at a time if you need that. Uh, we're going straight to the Elements tab. And in order to add elements, you first have to go up here to the Manage Elements button. Click on that. And once you have the Manage Elements open, you need to click on New Element. Off to the right will give you the Add Elements dialog. In this case, checkbox is here as the other possibility of element types. I'm going to leave a checkbox for right now. And checkbox, of course, is either it happened or it didn't happen. You'd check that you have it or not. So uh, I might have something like it's too dark in the room. Maybe some lights are burned out or something. And uh, so you want to make sure that everything is good and inducive for uh, uh, good learning. Uh, that's a checkbox, and you can add as many checkboxes as you want. <clears throat> Another one I'll show you here real quick is the drop-down list. And now you need to give that <clears throat> element a description or a name. And so what I'm going to call this is uh, students on, tack, on task. Excuse me. And so the first one's going to be 0%. There's nobody doing anything in the room. Uh, then I might go 20%, uh, 40%, and so on. So I'm just going to keep adding them here until we get up to 100%. And as you notice, every time I enter something, I enter it, and then I come over here and click the uh, Add button, and then after a brief delay, it shows up underneath uh, on the list of elements. And finish off with 100%. Now you need to be a little careful on the length of what you put in here because the width of your palm or your your handheld device is going to be a limited width. So if you can abbreviate things, this one is real short and sweet. And so now you, you have that. Don't forget to save element when you're done. Students on task, I better go up and spell that. If you notice, there are some red underlines saying, hey, you didn't spell that right. So, save. And that's just a quick run through. You can experiment with the other uh, types of elements that are there uh, and uh, look at the help page to find out just what each of those are.